Spotify's incredibly cool year in review feature has made me legitimately consider switching to the platform from Apple Music every December that passes. Thankfully, this year Apple has finally created their equivalent of this feature called Apple Music Replay. Let's take a look. If we haven't met, I'm Aaron and this is Top Spec your one-stop shop for tech content. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make use of Apple's new replay feature and give my two cents on it. So let's jump right in. This feature is actually super easy to use. It's just a little bit hidden. That being said, you will need to click on the link in the description to access it. Next, you'll need to click get your replay mix, then enter in your Apple ID login, let it load for a second, and you're done! From here, you can add a playlist with your 100 most listened to songs from the past year to your library, or scroll down and see some other interesting stats including your top artists and albums. Additionally, at the bottom, you can add several more playlists with your past years' most listened to songs to your library. I've only had Apple Music for about 3 years, so only two pop up for me. At the moment, there's no way to access any of the other stats for past years, but this feature is still in beta, so I could see that easily changing. Anyways, that's basically all it has to provide. I'm personally super happy that they finally decided to implement this feature because it's something that people have been requesting for a long time, and it shows that Apple legitimately cares about their platform and is listening to their audience. In terms of my stats, none of them were surprising. 8 out of my 10 songs were off of Igor because I'm Tyler the Creator trash and also evidenced by my flower boy f***ing sweatshirt. To our subscribers, I know this video was really impromptu and short, but don't worry, there will still be another video coming out Friday.